man, 1998 was a good year for games. Oh god, it's even worse than the last time! Looking Glass Studios, known at the time for the Ultima Underworld series and System Shock, were pioneers in a new genre of first-person games. Immersive simulations. First-person games where you did other things besides shooting monsters or shooting other players or peeing into urinals for health. Ah, uh, much better. And one series that always stuck with me, because I didn't play the other one, System Shock 1 felt like playing an operating system and not a game, but I guess the enhanced edition fixes that a little bit, right? Never mind, the one that stuck with me was Thief. Not a shoot 'em up, a stealth 'em up. Were you hid in the shadows and robbed rich people or religious fanatics most of the time? We'll talk about that probably in the second episode of this series, but for now, this video is a little different, a little slower. Not as slow as an actual Thief game where a single mission could take an hour or more, but still. The name of the game is Immersion, Atmosphere, expertly crafted levels, and being as open-ended as the player wants. We're not playing 1998 Thief, we're using New Dark, a source port that was developed anonymously, is completely unsupported by the game's creators, and it says here to use it at your own risk. Which is weird because I've never had a single issue with it, these warnings are a lot more ominous than they should be. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. Yeah, that's cool. When do I get a gun? You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and Hey, other shut objects. up for a second. Are we in space? Actually, that's a Star of David. Are we in space balls? Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Now get your weapons. About time. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Way ahead of you. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. That's ain't my first time being kidnapped into a secret society. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Attack him with your sword, not your bow. Bitch, this is an immersive sim. I'll do what I want. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Yeah, in a minute. I don't think I've ever been down this way before. Uh-huh, a locked door. There's a key on that table, but, uh... Oh, it just never ends with this guy. Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Immersion destroyed. Nailed it! What's over here? Goddamn looking glass are less gay jokes in Kevin Smith movies. Unlike the rest of this game, this is not gonna age well. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. <laughs> the keepers were training me to be one of them, but I found other uses for those skills. Hey. Mm. There's a few too many to try to get by here. You wanna come with? Couldn't pay me enough. Clear out of here, rogue. This is no place for you. 
but I wanted to hear about the bears. They just don't make bears like they used to. Whoa! Killer bears! Would've liked to see that. <laughs> this one's easy. You break into a mansion, you steal a scepter, you could do it blindfolded. I just have trouble with ladders sometimes, you know? How's it going? Oh, it's going great, can't you tell? Um, da -da. Ah. You guys can't see it, but somebody flushed some valuable stuff down here. <laughs> Fucking rich people neighborhoods, am I right? So this is a game all about stealth. You can do what they call ghosting, where you don't knock out any guards, you leave everything the way you found it, nobody knew you were there. That's boring. How's it going? Hey! Where'd you come from? <clears throat> Nobody's gonna find him down there. I hope he doesn't drown. Sometimes they can drown if you throw him into water while they're unconscious. They can in Thief 2 anyway. I'm playing on experts so you can't kill anybody. Giant spiders don't count. Giant spiders aren't people or pets. I think they made the death sound for the spiders so annoying so you don't want to kill them. In a thief game, your objectives are to sneak in, steal a valuable thing, steal a bunch of less valuable things to pay your rent, and get out. Oh yeah, and this is Benny. We love Benny. Could you possibly be any more helpful? Does this count as a sewer? You know what, this game's awesome, I'll give it a break. Katie, how dare you? Inside at last. But I've been thinking we should watch the outside. That's stupid. People don't worry about they're on the inside. No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer. Oh! That's also Benny. <coughs> This is also Benny. I think I'm gonna loop around, get behind him, so I can sack him without him noticing. Nah, I'm kidding. Wasting a flash bomb! Remember, we're not killing these people. We're only knocking them out with a leather wrap piece of lead called a blackjack, making them unconscious for a long period of time, and leaving them to be treated for a traumatic brain injury with medieval medicine. <clears throat> and hiding them in a dark corner somewhere to sleep it off or whatever. <sighs> Something there. <clears throat> Yeah, that's fine. Oh god, oh fuck, do not turn into me. Sir? Was that you? Oh, okay. We have to get upstairs and rob the guards' barracks, too. Just for giving me trouble. Well, not trouble. They are kind of dumb. What's that? Who go? And I get bread, a carrot, and some money. Baffert doesn't pay these guys enough. Okay, here's my favorite oh, thing noise? to do: avoid the loud surface by jumping from carpet to carpet, and just the wind, I guess. <clears throat> and rob the rich guy's bedroom. I wonder if he reads them or if it's just for show. It's as good a time as any to mention Stephen Russell's perfect performance as Garrett in this series. No, not you, never you! This Ginny person seems awfully suspicious, and there's a mention in this letter about Victoria, a character who will show up later. Because this game is really well written. I can barely make head or tail of what this shit is, but it's fine, it's good. Fucking pagan talk. I know what you're thinking. Sivvy, what are you doing going around chopping up all the tapestries?
Oh, hey, it's the throne room with the scepter in it. I didn't even have to use a key to get in, even though I have like five of those. What's there? And Benny's guarding it. Benny's dumber than George Green. I don't have rope arrows yet, but I'll deal with it. Hey! <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Here we go. I think I've knocked out every guard in this place except for the three out front so I can do this. And then take the incredibly long passageway down to Baffert's office. Yeah, there's some valuable stuff here. He's got his books. If anyone asks who ransacked this place, it was Ginny. Yeah, I'll take another key, why not? Exit to the streets and you're done. Ginny can rot in fucking Crags Cleft for all I care. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So, hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Oh, the fucking Hammerites. The Hammerites are awful. They're like Catholics who don't drink. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the Hammers still work the top-level mines, and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The Hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. Haunted? <laughs> sure. What do we got here? Cuddy still owes you for the Baffert job, break him out and you'll get your cash. Fair enough. You've had your eye on Basso, the boxman's sister, for a while now. If you break him out of Crags Cleft, she'll probably be very grateful. There are easier ways to get laid, or so I'm told, but okay. Is it the beggar borrowed your lucky hand of glory, and knowing him probably hid it from the hammer's body search in ways you'd rather not think about? According to Wikipedia, a hand of glory is the dried and pickled hand of a male person who has been hanged. Oh. Ew! Take a grand worth of their stuff, escape with Cuddy and Basso, and don't kill anyone. Sure, I'm on board. There's a mine here, so there's just precious metals lying around. It's cool. Oh, right. The zombies. <laughs> I hate zombies. They're just lying around, moaning, and if you walk by, they wake up. You can stun them with the arrows of the sword, but to kill them for real, you either need holy water, flash bombs, or explosives. <laughs> Some awfully good jibbing for a game where you're not supposed to kill people. You think you'd be able to bash their heads in with a hammer or something? Look at me wasting all my water arrows. Good thing this level's full of electric lights I can't put out. Goddamn hammerites. Okay, fine, it's haunted. Youths in this time seek to learn about gold and politics, not honest craft. Will be their loss when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. Boomers, am I right? I could feel that joke getting old as it was coming out of my mouth. So much of this game is sitting in the dark and studying guard patrols, which you think would be boring, but no, no, it's not. Yeah, that's not mantling. That should have been mantling. Time to run, because if he finds you, he's just gonna beat you to death with a sledgehammer. Thy hiding place cannot last. I'm gonna try and lead him out. Halt! Show thyself at once! That works, too. Noisy metal floors call for moss arrows. 
I don't know why he doesn't notice that, but it was 1998. The fact that the AI could do what it did in this game was incredible anyway. Clanky metal grating. I better tread softly. For example, what I'm doing right here, don't do this. Don't ever do this. This is terrible. design in this game is pretty amazing all around. Like here I find this alcove that takes me into a... Yeah, okay. Here's a dead guy with a hot tip for Cuddy about the Horn of Quintus, which is located in the Bone Horde. That sounds bad, fuck that. The dead guy has a key to a safe upstairs to facilitate me robbing these weirdos. I picked it up before I even got the mission objective to do anything with it. Look at this, they have to hide the booze. I have to search for Cuddy, Basso, and that pickled ass hand through four cell blocks. Luckily, they're all connected and you can get keys from them off the guards. Okay, here's another thing you can do that you probably shouldn't. I heard that. Each cell door has its own switch and they aren't labeled, so maybe just let everybody out. Look there, he's got a bow. Wait, what does this button do? Oh, God damn it! It wouldn't be dark steampunk fantasy without weird out of place machinery. Like this camera. Come closer, and thou shalt feel my air. Alright, old man. Let's get you out of here and me my money. <laughs> Afraid you're gonna be disappointed? Good thing you're dying, Cuddy, or I'd have to kill you for stiffing me. Again. Snap, snap, puppy. <coughs> but I owe ya, so... <coughs> Felix went after the Horn of Quintus, down the Bone Horde. Left me his notes. The hammer's got him. Put him in there. Evidence box. Yeah, I already took care of that. That fell under general thieving. Is there anything else? Are you just gonna- you just gonna die? Okay. <coughs> Here's my hand of glory, so not only has it been up someone's ass, it's been sitting on a decomposing corpse for god knows how long. So let's recap. Today, I have swum in sewage, exposed myself to this dude with pneumonia, looted several corpses, been attacked by reanimated corpses, handled a severed hand that was hidden in somebody's ass, and later I'm gonna nail Basso's sister. I'm sure she's very nice, but there are no toilets in this world. What do you think her personal hygiene is like? Just imagine what this whole world smells like. <laughs> Oh, bullshit. It says unconscious body. What, did he have a stroke while I was carrying him? Hold on, what did Basso even do? Fire lighter. Is that it? There are records that tell you what all the prisoners did and what their punishments were. I had to Google what half of these were. Gelding, I knew, but whisking? Flux? It's all very creative, but I give it like a seven, seven and a half. You're not even putting anybody through rock crushing machines. What are you doing? Well, there's Basso. If he weren't unconscious, it'd be simpler, but now I'll have to carry him out. Which is fine, I guess. Most of the guards are unconscious, too. <sighs> don't drown. Please don't drown. Please don't drown. Your sister better fucking appreciate this.
And we're back! After doing all that boring stealth stuff in the last episode that's the best part of any Thief game, we got something a little different lined up for this one. That's right! Zombies! We saw a few of these in the Haunted Mines in the last episode, but that was just a taste. This next mission is Zombie Central. <laughs> Tombs with piped in music. How classy. They're all just living under the city in this massive tomb full of rich people so paranoid that they set up traps to keep people from stealing their stuff even after they've died. Lame! Amateur! I gotta get the Horn of Quintus, 2,000 bucks worth of loot, a gemstone called the Mystic Soul, and its sister stone, the Mystic's Heart. You would think a score like this would set you up for life in any Taffet apartment in the city, but no, we'll be back to robbing mansions again in no time. Go in from a surface entrance and no, you shut up! Robbing tombs, that's all well and good. You'll get some new equipment in this mission. Fire arrows. They light you up while you're holding them and they make a lot of noise. Also, rope arrows, very useful. Shoot them into a wooden surface and have a more reliable climbing tool than the ladders. Oh. You don't get the more useful vine arrows until Thief 2. You don't really have to be stealthy in this one. It's kind of like survival horror here, except... No. They do survival horror stuff better in the Haunted Cathedral later. These guys are slow and stupid, and I don't even waste holy water trying to kill them. Again, lame. Dumber than Benny. I did try to lead them into some of the traps, but they're not quite stupid enough for those. Okay, who made the ass shaking animation on the zombies? When I play a thief level, the main objective gets put off to the side for a while because I have to find all this other stuff. Why you'll be sorry. Uh, nah. Oh, who's this flame boy? Walking on this loud tile floor in the middle of an ancient tomb. Hey asshole, you been cleaning up this place? I hope all those dead rich people are paying you well. So this is actually an area I'm less familiar with because it's gold edition only. But fire boy obviously won't react well to water arrows, which I haven't been using because the zombie conga lines amuse me. I'm not sure that holy water makes any difference with this guy, but I'm not using it for anything else, so whatever. Whoa, slow down. He drops fire arrows, which you'll need to light all these torches in the least stealthy way possible. The official name for this thing is the Fire Shadow, and all he's guarding is more zombies. Oh, yeah, and the Mystic Soul Gemstone, which is of course also protected by traps. Is that it? You got anything else in ya? These traps are usually easy to avoid, unless you're trying to get the other stone in this level. Ah! 
It requires taking a very specific path through this room and then basically jump scares you with fireballs and death if you fuck it up. Why would you design a trap that has a way to avoid it? I don't know, but we do have some actual sneaking to do to get by this undead hammerite. Again, tile floors suck, but there is a way to completely avoid making any noise. If you're crouching, creeping, and stopping and going, you won't make any footsteps at all. Okay, I lied before this part is creepy. Time for the main event, the Horn of Quintus. Through these caves filled with the majestic Burrick, a giant lizard-like creature that spits poison gas. They're slow, their gas is slow, and right now they're not doing anything because the horn has them in a trance. When that changes, I just run. Unless you're cornered, they're not really a problem. Once you take the horn, they wake up, but nah, it's fine, just move past them. And on the top floor of the tombs, there's an easy exit. This mission is kind of stupid, but at least it's easy. I had some money to spare after disposing of the horn, so it seemed time to invest in some new tools. Farkas is one of the few merchants willing to risk selling to an independent like me, and his prices are steep. Farkas? Oh, shit! <laughs> but the other choice is to let one of the so-called city wardens give me orders, and take a cut of my profits. They've been after me for years to join one of their stables, but I'm not interested. Maybe they'll get the idea and give up. More likely, they'll just ramp up the threats. Yeah, finally, some lockpicks. We're gonna go rob a Hammerite temple. Yep, that's what we're doing, and that's what I'm buying all these water arrows for. Farkas here sells to disreputable indie thieves like Garrett. Seems like a nice guy. Oh. Message for you, son. Oh shit, I forgot. No Python. That shot was meant for me. Yes, I'm sure it was Garrett in the window. He's dead. Let's head back now. These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever sent them to kill me. But only if I can tail them without them noticing me. Yeah, these dudes are real experts. They stop sometimes and look into completely pitch black areas where they can't see me. I feel like we're being followed. So I follow him around this city and I can't even begin to praise how this game from 1998 made these huge, open, sprawling, non-linear levels. It's just so goddamn good. At least until the next mission. So, these are Ramirez's boys. I think it's time I dealt with Mr. Ramirez once and for all. Oh shit, Garrett's off the chain. He's gonna ice this motherfucker. Okay, no, I guess not. Break in, steal his purse and 2,000 and other stuff. And his prized silver fire poker. Really, a fire poker. You wouldn't even believe what I have to go through to find that stupid thing either. Slashes tapestries, go into a secret passage, it's there. I feel like there has to be something more precious to steal like any of the other things I've been taking. <laughs> it's fine, whatever, this guy did it. Who's there? Oh, what asshole left this door open? We're in a castle, it's naturally drafty. The lockpicks do get a workout in this mission, because of how Thief's inventory system is kind of primitive. Like, basically as primitive as the one from Heretic four years earlier. You gotta cycle through. Thankfully, we have mouse wheels now. It's kind of cool, nobody hears all this- Ramirez keeps Burrix's pets because he's a weirdo. I don't think it would be right to kill his pets, though. That's just not cool. Ramirez himself is hiding away in the basement, counting his money. I can steal his purse, easy, no problem, but I gotta know what's in these two blue chests. I already have all the loot I need, but you know, I'm here, I might as well. Should have known. Nothing could get in here. <laughs> oh 
Oh shit, he ordered room service! <clears throat> now we've got more money and a list of contacts, one of which is the elusive Victoria, who I doubt will be important to the plot. Now we just need to get out. I came in through the front door, and aside from all this goddamn noisy gravel, I think I can get through again. Maybe I should head back to my own neighborhood. Those fellas don't seem too friendly. Well, the whole city seems to be on alert, so I have to go back the way I came, back to the shop. I mean, no, I don't need to go back to the shop, but I forgot to loot it earlier because I was tailing those two idiots. Jesus, guys, come on, how many of you are there? your hands on your head. Dumber than Benny. Obviously I make it home, sit down, have a nice glass of meat, and wait for the next mission. Which is the worst in any thief game. It appears in the Gold Edition, yeah, so the Gold Edition added extra missions and sprinkled them throughout the campaign instead of, like, putting them separately or something. That would be crazy. Who does that? So you get this Thieves' Guild mission. See, they want Garrett to join because he'd probably improve their reputation, a thing thieves are worried about. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. You go into the mission thinking, okay, rob at a casino, and then bam, it's sewers. It's an hour of walking through sewers trying to find out where the fuck you're supposed to go because you have different objectives all over the map. A map which is about as useful as tits on a submarine. Fuck me, this mission sucks! It looks like cut beta content. You've got banners on walls that are solid blocks. They thought, hey, you know what the fans would want to see in an expansion? A giant sewer level. And this one's bad. We're talking a note city bad. If I didn't already do that gag in the Dark Forces video, that count would go up way faster. There's these two guys feuding, and I have to steal a priceless vase that they already stole, and a bracelet, and 2,000 loot. The 2,000 loot thing is fine, right? Wrong. Because unlike the other levels so far, all the loot is piddly shit little drops that are all over the map, and it takes forever to find enough. Not to mention that it seems like everything else you need to steal is inside of a secret wall that you only know is there because either you played this mission before or you stopped to look at every stupid panel on the map. It's been a few years since I played this mission and there was just no excuse for making it like this. Let me see if I can try to explain everything you have to do here. You gotta get into this restaurant through the back door, then get downstairs into the casino, spin a roulette wheel that opens a secret passage into the underground, navigate about 50 miles of sewers, go into isolated areas only accessible by swimming through human waste so you can hit switches to open doors to more sewers, so you can access Donald's house where the vase is located away in a safe, but that's not all. No, you have to get the key to that safe, which was stolen by Reuben, which is in his house, which is locked with a key that Reuben's right-hand man Tom has. You are my number one guy. So you have to find a key to open Reuben's house to get the safe key to get the vase, and that's not even going into getting the key to Reuben's house. Yeah, you remember those lockpicks he got in the last mission? They're fucking worthless here, and I found myself using them to open a bunch of locked rooms that have nothing in them. All that would be fine. I've played Sam and Max Hit the Road. I understand convoluted nonsense, but the fact that the actual map itself is full of passageways that all snake into each other and areas seem to blur together? Some areas look exactly the goddamn same, but are on different sides of the map? I've played this mission a few times. I still can't make head or tail of it. Reuben keeps a giant spider as a pet, and I can't abide that bullshit either. You see what you made me do, Thieves Guild? Okay, back to Dolan's, or Donald's, or whatever. I have to... Was this fucking place built on an Indian burial ground? The other missions in the game so far, I spent maybe 45 minutes on each of them. This one took me almost two fucking hours. You want some tips for this mission? Okay, as soon as you start it, press Control, Alt, Shift, and End. That's the best advice I can give you. So, aside from how this mission is terrible, did I learn anything? Well, in the last episode I said I didn't know if tossing guards in the water would drown them in Thief 1. I can now confirm that it does. I thought I saw something. Well, it was nothing, I guess. 
Mm. I actually did a fun experiment where I tossed this guy, saved my game, and then when it mission failed, I loaded again, raced against the clock, and saved him. Probably the best time I had in this mission. Sometimes you gotta make your own fun. What? Wait, no. I was... I was just here. This can't be the same. No. No! I have the face, but I forgot the bracelet, which, check it out. Check out where it is. Okay, all objectives complete. Let me find my way back to the surface. There, we're done. Fuck it, next time we're moving on to a mission that's way less confusing, Constantine's Manor. Contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. That's, uh, should people know about that? The target is a magical sword owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city and mostly keeps to himself. Yeah, cool. Also a collector of magic swords. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. Anything will be better after the Thieves' Guild. I don't care if the guards are organized. I'm a little surprised Constantine allows unionized rena cops Maybe he's like that? They say he's eccentric. This is going to be a challenging job, but it'll pay better than the last few I've taken. As usual, the front entrance is heavily guarded, but I've managed to find another way in. Of course, once I've picked up the sword, I'll still have to worry about getting back out. I got you, we're golden. I've been doing this for years, unless he's got dogs or giant spiders or burricks or weird metal babies. I can't explain why, but I've always had a fear of turning a corner and running into a weird metal baby. Keeps me up at night sometimes. Easy enough to get in, shoot a rope arrow up there. I'm not even sure you can approach the front door in this mission. Who would ever try? After the Thieves' Guild, it's hard to worry about confusing layouts. I mean, how weird can this place be? Oh. Uh... It's not just getting the sword, it's never getting the one thing you need. You gotta do the job without killing anyone, naturally, and then find some info on Constantine, I assume, for future blackmailing purposes. It doesn't hurt to be prepared. Half of all the surfaces in this mission are tile floors, and the other half are traps. Why even have guards? Who built this? Why? And this fireplace doesn't go anywhere. It's just gonna fill your house with smoke if you try to use it. So yeah, the floor is noisy lava. <laughs> Guard patrols are weird too. This guy rounds a corner, he enters this room, then he comes right back out, goes in a new direction. <clears throat> Hello? Show yourself! I can't get into the basement. It's not an issue of finding a secret. This door is 100% inaccessible, so I go up to the second floor, which is Pee-wee's playhouse, but with death traps. Chairs on the ceiling, yeah. Okay. This dude has plants that are used in the temporary negation of magical spells and systems. 
Honestly, I could use some of those next time the game needs me to deal with ghosts or evil faces. Um... What, uh, what the fuck? Come on in! It's your master bedroom! Ow, my nose! It's a good thing these guards don't notice ropes or moss. The moss I can kind of understand, because the third floor of this mansion, uh... Okay, third floor is the best way to describe this area that's like plants and caves. And tile floor, of course, tile floor. This is a secure location where valuable artifacts are kept, so what do you do, huh? The sword is guarded by telepathic super guards. You've heard of Benny? These guys are on the other end of the spectrum, practically clairvoyant. And they have seemingly random patrol routes, 8,000 torches. Not that they need them, because apparently they can see in the dark. What's that? Hey, someone's All right, what is that? All right, where are you? Stop at once and put your hands up! Okay, and maybe sometimes they shoot each other, but I think that's proof of their dedication. Was something just Hello? There? Anyone there? Hey! You! Ah. After hey. him! Ah. Moss doesn't help. This motherfucker has eyes in the back of his head. You're a pink dude! You'll Not be full of holes soon! There's three guards up here. On the lower floor, there's at least three more. As in, way more than I can reliably knock out and drag away into the darkness to be consumed by this rich hippie bastard's plant collection. <laughs> Whee! We can get above the sword, so I'm gonna pull a little Mission Impossible with a rope arrow. All right, I hear you. Come out in the open at once. Okay, I got two of them down. It was messy, but it's done. Europe didn't even forage! Uh, uh, I think a baby bird! Nobody downstairs has to know. We still got a guy walking around this area, but I can just, uh... Time to take my new sword and get out of this crazy place. I hear you there. No, you don't. I don't care about finding dirt on this guy. Who needs it? It doesn't matter anyway. They'll just say he's eccentric and not this whack job built a house with furniture on the ceiling and... I don't think I can go this way. <laughs> cool traps, Constantine. I found some rooms here. This one's upside down. The one under it is only 90 degrees off, so that's progress. Which leads to a garden, I think. Not that the third floor isn't some kind of garden. That was just an indoor garden. This is also an indoor garden with no windows. Let's see what the map says. Awesome. This seems to be Constantine's private office where he keeps Rackle's Tome of Magic, a note from his contractor who he pays in raw gold. I know who I'm robbing next. Okay, a tree. That should be helpful. It will at least bring me to a decent vantage point to survey the area. Uh, oh. It's, uh... It's, it's watching me. I don't feel comfortable in here. Now, I could find the balcony I came in on next to the guard tower. Maybe I could scale the wall, get out the way I came. But there's this water flowing in. That's usually a way out. Oh, ew. Fine, whatever. Let's go. Finally, outside. I think we're in the clear. He's got one guard out here, uh, just, uh... He was out here guarding this tiny town. Fine, whatever. You know what? I've never been a millionaire. Let them have their weird miniature towns and their magical artifacts and their death traps and their private islands where they indulge in things that I would get demonetized for even mentioning. As long as I can get out of this alive and with a few gold coins in my pocket, this dude can do whatever he wants. Oh, Jesus, I've never been so happy to see a sewer pipe. Now that ring looks valuable, but it might be a little big for me to carry.
Okay, you want some dirt on Constantine? How about he has a room in his house the size of the entire city and he hired some people to patrol it? How did they get in here? Who opens that door? Who thought that 1998 bilinear filtering would look good scaling all those tiny textures? Just let me climb up onto this desk and read this note that I have to select. I can't... I... Uh, it... Oh. Men often say heavy is the head that wears the crown. For once they speak the truth, I've told the poor lads over and over, come not into my private retreat. Do they listen? Do they hear? If they fall victim to my sanctum, so be it. Okay, real quick, now that this objective is taken care of and I've found some information on Constantine, namely that he's a giant who makes man-sized houses that he doesn't live in and that gravity must absolutely kill his back, I gotta somehow get down from here without falling off of this chair to my death. and that there's holes for mice, which thank fuck I didn't see any of those. Maybe because he puts down mouse traps that I'm almost positive killed one of his guards. Rope arrow up here, which leads back into the house, and then, yup, I'm back in the garden. Can I go back to robbing mob bosses like Ramirez? Right, I'm out. I don't ever want to see this place again. At least I finally get to show you guys one of Thief's dope-ass cutscenes. It's low res, but I think at the time these were some of the coolest cutscenes I'd ever watched. Garrett, it's Victoria. I trust you made it back alive. You've done well, Garrett. It's time for the payment you've been promised. Yes. Just yes, after all that bullshit, it is 100% time to get paid. A refreshment, Mr. Garrett. I'm in the possession of a superior brandy that has the most restorative effect. I prefer my payment in cash, not liquor, Mr... My apologies. I've been watching you, Mr. Garrett. So closely, in fact, that I'm afraid I'd forgotten we haven't actually met yet. I am... Constantine. Oh! Okay, that could be a problem. Cool mansion you have there, sir. Very nice, very tasteful. Ah! You've brought me here to kill me? But you have it all wrong, Mr. Garrett. Would it surprise you to know that it was I who hired you to steal my own sword? Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You were being tested. Do you understand? I don't even know what to say the way this dialogue plays out and the killer voice acting. I'll summarize, but I'm doing y'all a disservice by not playing the whole thing. Constantine wants Garrett to steal a gemstone called the Eye, which is locked away in an abandoned part of the city. And his brandy is growing plant stuff. That's... Probably not good, I wouldn't drink that. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Damn right, I don't think we've made ten grand in this game yet by robbing rich people, the dead, or other thieves. And this is legit work. Is it against the law to steal artifacts that no one owns? The eye that Constantine wants is in the abandoned cathedral of the Hammerites. Oh, not those dicks. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. The cathedral is located in a section of the city that was deserted years ago, after some kind of catastrophe. Oh, it's zombies, isn't it? Is it zombies? I've heard stories of the incident. Most are wild rumors about hordes of zombies. God damn it. Okay, find the cathedral. Easy enough. Take the opportunity to steal other valuables. Two thousand worth, which is fine, but the last hundred or so took me a while. Get the serpentile torque. Sure, there's even a note that tells you where it is. There used to be a monument in this part of town called the Watchman's Grave that thieves would leave coins on for good luck. You've brought some coins just in case. I never took Garrett for the superstitious type, but expert got a expert. We got zombies, we got ghosts, we got Burricks. The Burricks should know better and they should have left me alone. At a certain point, they'll run from you in terror. Ooh, shiny. And of course, there are caves, and of course there are sewers! 
as well as power stations to turn on lights, so really there's no reason to go into those. I would show you guys more of this level, but I didn't turn on any lights, so good luck seeing it. That's expert thief shit right there. And let's not forget Craymen, which I don't even want to get near. Better just shoot them with fire arrows, I don't trust anything with an exoskeleton. Constantine's sword doesn't actually do any more damage. The only difference between it and the sword you had before is that it doesn't reflect light, so it's harder to see it when it's drawn, which, if I have the sword out at all, I've abandoned the stealth option. I've read that you can kill apparitions too, but I don't really need to do that yet. Also, flash bombing them 200 times or so works. <laughs> I can basically walk by the one outside the cathedral, which is located on Cathedral Street, sure. And you go right to the back and you climb up. <laughs> Comes a man to rescue me. Poor man. Okay, man, too weird. Why is it talking the to me? The keepers have sealed the door. And only they know how to open them. Cross you the bridge to the grotto of the keepers. What is this, a physics puzzle? You kids probably can't see any of this, it's dark even by the standards of this game. Doing a puzzle to open the first doors wasn't enough, so I gotta pick a lock inside. The Keepers placed elemental wards on the door to the cathedral. Apparently, they had them lying around and thought this was a good use for them. And there are four talismans hidden around the city that I need to go and steal to get in. But, as they wrote, were the trickster not opposed, he would bring destruction upon the entire city. Oh no! Not the city! This awful, dirty place filled with assholes! I'd hate for that to happen! The Talisman of Fire is kept in the Lost City, the Talisman of Water in a shrine in the caverns below the Old Quarter. I could've sworn I've already been in every underground cavern in this city. The Talisman of Air is with the Hammerites. Great! And the Talisman of Earth is with the Hand Brotherhood, whoever they are. Ninjas? A JoJo reference? We'll never know! So I can't even get the eye yet. I have to leave here and rob four other places before I can get it. And before I can do that, I have to drop some coins, murder all these zombies, and rob a haunted house. Are you ready for the unsettling, creepy thief stuff? Because here's a taste. The ghosts aren't too hard to maneuver around. They have a patrol route that takes them upstairs and downstairs. You can sneak right past them. We kill some Cray men, look around for like an hour for the last tiny bits of loot so I can leave, and we're done. Bam. Now, Thief Gold added a couple extra missions here, including the next one, that weren't strictly necessary, but they're here anyway. And next time, we get to rob half the city so we can collect an obviously cursed item. The Talisman of Earth is guarded by a foreign mages sect known as the Hand Brotherhood. They reside in a compound of huge towers where they practice their arts of earth, air, fire, and water. Oh yeah, very original. Elemental magic and making me jump through four different hoops to do one thing. Damn pretentious hipster wizard. The Talisman is likely kept in the Earth Tower, but there's little chance it'll be that simple. It's not. There's so much reading. Did anyone come here for the reading? Once inside, I'll need to move quickly to find the talisman. I wouldn't last long in a fight oh against the mages. This is true. The mages are such dicks. Not too bright, but total dicks. I mostly don't have to deal with them because they hired rent-a-cops. Why won't they allow us into their towers? We're here to keep a watch on the commons and to deal with mundane threats. The mages can protect themselves. 
But what with all the secrecy? Even the servants ain't allowed there. These wizards trust anyone? I found it best not to ask questions. The gold they give me answers all the questions I have. Problem is, when you hire people off the street, they don't have the same kind of dedication. Horrible work ethic. There's so many things to do in this level that they had to shrink the font on the objective screen. Find out where the mages hid the talisman, steal the talisman, steal a pair of jeweled reading glasses, steal the medallion of St. Burringdon, steal 1800 in loot, don't kill anyone. Find the hidden entrance to the sewers and escape. It's not the Thieves' Guild again, thank God, even though this is another mission that was added to the Gold Edition. You can tell because it's massive. Nowhere near as confusing, though. I understand how dark this game can get and how it might be difficult to see the action, and while I've tried to fix this in earlier videos, there's no kill like overkill. Katie, hit the image intensifier. Aw, oh, hell yeah. what I see there? Nope, fuck that room, that's a death trap. <coughs> Okay, I think we're good. You'll be full of holes soon! You'll have to do better than that, Taffer! Don't make me come find you. Oh, hi, Benny. I didn't see you there. I'll be with you in a second. I hope nobody uses this room. These mages have a dungeon, like an actual underground place where they torture people. They put them in Iron Maidens. Iron Maiden? Excellent! I know, right? But there's also a secret exit to the sewers. Hmm. This looks like the way out. That'll come in useful later. We don't even have to open this giant gate, it might as well not exist, but that's gold edition levels for you. I haven't even started getting into how this mission works, okay? You gotta get into not just the Earth Tower, but every tower, every single one, including the one in the center. So that's five towers, each with its own key, and each key is placed inside of one of those towers. So how do you even get into the first one? Well, you have to give all these people traumatic brain injuries, some of them are asleep, so don't bother with them. Break into the captain's room, steal a medallion, Looks like Captain Regalio's been holding out on the mages. Good thing he can't hold out on me. Most of these bedrooms have tile floors in them. How do any of these people sleep? What? Please, don't hurt me. The mages themselves are more of a problem than your average rent-a-guard. For a couple of reasons. One, because they all talk like Dr. Orpheus from Venture Brothers. R.I.P. I found out they cancelled that like a day after writing this. Leave us while you can. And their voice echoes, so it sounds like there's more than one of them chasing you. And also the staircase leading up to the main floor is all tile, so I shoot a moss arrow at the bottom here and... I have eternity to seek you out. Oh, cool, immortal wizards. Come out at once, for I hear your presence. You want to know why these guys are so dangerous? I call upon the element. I can't even access the top of this tower yet. And there's a floor that connects all of the towers together, but all the doors are locked from the inside. You can only exit through them, but I have to go up there because there's eight guards roaming around and I don't want to have to deal with them later. To start this whole chain of key hunting and hipster bonking, you have to go to the water tower, which you can actually get into because the mages accidentally flooded it. However that works. The key to the Tower of Earth is in the Tower of Water, because only the Water Mages can survive in the flooded areas. I didn't even need a breath potion. Next, Tower of Earth, endlessly bonking guys on the head, trying to navigate this maze with rope arrows until I find the key to the Tower of Air. Fuck the Tower of Air.
Oh wait, there is one good thing here. This is the gas arrow, which as far as I'm concerned is Thief's BFG. The top tier of Thief's equipment. A precious thing we don't want to waste in the fucking air tower. You. You. <gasps> No, we need the gas arrow for the fire tower. First, we have to lockpick this chest like three times because pointing telescopes at it or... Whatever, it's dumb and not challenging. The fire tower blows. It's a giant metal tomb full of pretentious arsonists who call themselves wizards. Look at this asshole walking in lava, just showing off. <clears throat> Thankfully, he doesn't drown, he's fine. Now we have more platforming over heated plates. Imagine playing Crash Bandicoot, but every time you landed a jump, the game made a noise that made you want to die. There aren't enough moss arrows in the world. And you get to pick a lock while standing on heated platforms because this level isn't long enough. Then you get the key to the treasure room where they have the talisman. Oh, wait. It's, it's true we have returned. We must, we must. Fuck yeah, gas arrows. I don't know who's returned, but I'm gonna rob their ass blind too. Wait a minute, there's like 10 talismans in here. Nobody said anything about 10 talismans. If you look right at the bottom of this tower, there's a scroll sitting there and it tells you, eight old men up in a tower, eight old men only one with power. Turn away from the hand with the sword, count seven and find your reward. Okay, the man with the sword is not one of the guards. They're mages and hipsters and they don't have swords. The man with the sword is the door. Turn away from that and count to seven. Latu, Uratha, <laughs> But how do I count this one that's on a shelf and not on a pedestal? There, got it. Time to go. Let's check the scoreboard. Yeah, that sounds about right. The Keepers have hidden the Talisman of Fire in a place they call the Lost City. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground ages ago. And for once, the cataclysm wasn't zombies. That stone I picked up in the haunted area from before opens a door underwater that leads there. So, this is the Lost City. It's not lost no more. Oh, uh, you want to get another take of that? After I get in, I have to pick up a bunch of old treasure and find a Lost Keeper expedition. They'll owe me a favor if I can recover the medallions from their search parties. I just hope no one tells them I'm stealing talismans to open a door they sealed to a haunted cathedral so I can steal a cursed thing that they didn't want found. Maybe we can call it even. First thing, giant spiders, of course. This ancient civilization had these damn lights inside their temples that activate automatically when you're near them. Which is pretty inconvenient. Not like this is a stealth level, we're doing the Tomb Raider thing here. I can't believe that works. It's not just Burricks. No, that would be too easy. There are fire elementals, because you don't have any torches to put out, so you gotta use the water arrows for something. <laughs> You're supposed to do a lot of stuff in this mission, like find a lever for a machine to extend a bridge that I can just jump over. It was more difficult to do this in the original versions of this game. The mantling was more unreliable. And since this is Gold Edition, they added mages to this level. The shadows will not kill me. you can, if you wish to be left alone. Your Something happened to this city, maybe we can deduce exactly what it was. Creepy. Oh yeah, we got Lovecraft shit in here now. 
fire rains upon us from the sky at the temple of Nlahotep. Four hallowed geldings were offered to appease the acrimonious earth. Their sanguine overture has done nothing to pacify her. Mlahotep, huh? Trying to offer sacrifice to some elder gods? I know that game, that's not gonna work. This game taught me what gelding was in Mission 2, and I don't think the elder gods are interested in our severed balls. But who knows, I played Sucker for Love, and she wanted a smooch. You're up, my darling. You've earned it. Eh, I could do worse. Getting the fire talisman isn't much of a problem, you can just rope up into this tower and grab it. And despite what the keepers say in this note here, the fire elementals will continue to attack you after you've taken it. I still have to find those medallions. There are even more mages, but it was at this point that I discovered an oversight from the devs in their rush to shove these irritating bastards into the level in the gold edition. You notice anything about these objectives like there isn't one saying I can't kill anyone? It's not even the loot I'm worried about, it's the fact that for some reason 500 of that loot has to be in gems. I found a solution to that problem, which is this dumb room where you pry them off the walls. They aren't even booby-trapped, what were they thinking? This one room has like 80% of the gems you need for this mission. Good shit. The Keepers stashed the Talisman of Water in a series of hidden caverns located deep below the city. According to their map, I'll find it in a shrine located in the lowest cavern. An informant of mine, Geary, made a home for himself in these caverns after he lost his job tending the ticket counter of a nearby opera house. God, this city sucks. This guy would rather be homeless in a dark cave underneath the city than be homeless in the city. Guess I gotta talk to him to get some... Oh. Guess I'm not getting any information from Geary after all. Guess I'm on my own. Hello, Crayman. Later, dicks. Learn to swim. Ugh, I didn't bring any fire arrows. Looks like I gotta do this the hard way. Stand not against us lest you feel the sting of ignorance's barbs. <laughs> Sounds like keeper talk for we've rigged the place. Yeah, but I get some arrows from it. Hmm, okay. Lady Valeria sent some dudes down here to get some treasure, and some of them died. Amateurs. I spy you, little fish. Oh no, it's a big fish, rather. Are you here to sing too? We'll reenact the memorable scene between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. The city at night. Raoul, the handsome young opera house owner, sings to the Lady Valerius. I, Raoul, do accuse you of using treachery to obtain your wealth. Jesus Christ, I did not come in here to hear some wino taffer sing to a rope. Now, I live here under the opera, but I go back. Stealing food and such as I need. She can't kick me out, not Raoul. <laughs> then they come down looking for spiders, but they found the treasure from the shrine instead. Finally, something useful. I've seen her with it. It has powers. You, you could steal it from her. Yes. You need a map. Raoul has a map. You need a key. You can get that too from me. Remember. Left at the sewer. To the right might look newer. That's the secret of the way in. Now go, go, go. Let us reenact the memorable scene again between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. <laughs> okay, so Song of the Caverns is another gold edition only mission. The best one, in my opinion. Like, this kind of level foreshadows the better ones you'd see in Thief 2. As soon as you climb this rope, you'll find the sewer, which has a convenient street exit. 
After you get out of these caves, there aren't any zombies, there aren't any spiders. The Opera House guards have been exterminating those. Imagine signing up for that job. Now we're just robbing a bunch of nobles. You gotta steal the talisman, 2,000 in loot, break into the cash box in the ticket booth, steal a silver flute, don't kill anyone, and escape. When I say this is like a Thief 2 level, I mean, it's just stuffed full of interesting NPC dialogue and interactions. Those little world-building touches that make a game from 1998 feel alive. Sneaking in, stealing the expensive wines, finding secret passages inside of the furnace. You know, the most dangerous place to put those. And outsmarting the guards, an especially difficult task in this level because rich people love tile floors and little 16 pixel wide borders made of wood that are quieter, don't ask me why. <laughs> Something there. <sighs> hey! You over there! Didn't even scratch! <laughs> I find the ticket booth before anything else, so that's done. I just have to move very, very slowly. To give you an example of how fast a guard can notice you on a tile floor... All right! Ah! Okay, let's do that correctly. Oh, oh, come on, what sick fucking designer did this? Backstage is the worst. There's these two guards on the catwalks, the loud, ear-splitting catwalks that I give up trying to KO. They don't even notice you if you're prowling around below them. If any of the guards cared about their co-workers disappearing, this game would be ten times harder. I can't believe the Opera House is still losing money. It's all these lower-class people working in the ticket office and such. They steal whatever they can get their hands on. Valerius should fire all of them. For once, I agree with you, Christine. Scrapping the lower class would certainly clean things up around here. <laughs> but what will you do for food and shelter when they kick you out? <laughs> Taffa. This entire opera house is so full of dicks. <gasps> is someone there? A lot of carpet jumping in this one, especially on the higher floors. Lady Valerius, noble paranoid nutjob that she is, keeps the talisman very secure. Too bad there's a secret passage into her room, which also has the key to the safe that has the flute you have to get. The key that Raoul gives you opens the secret passage and the chest with the talisman in it. Which is good, because getting in here without those things requires getting past at least two guards. Thought I saw something. Hey. Come back out here, you tapper! Just... Huh? Well, I'd like to stay for the finale, but I've got a feeling it's time to move on. Hey, what a lovely night out that was. Truly wonderful. Love the opera. I think I'll exit through the shitholes. Getting the talisman of air will be an interesting challenge, but I'll need it if I want to get the eye for Constantine. It's well hidden inside the city's hammer temple, so I'll have to do some scouting around. Problem is, the place is fully active day and night. Not even I can stay undetected for very long. My contacts can get me a novice's pass to get me through the gate. Once inside, I'll be free to take my time, explore the place thoroughly, and find the talisman. As long as I don't do anything violent, or get caught somewhere I shouldn't be. How do you do, fellow hammers? <clears throat> oh. Think not that thou shalt vanish now. I see the end. So not only do I have to get the talisman, I have to steal the first hammer and 2400 in loot while being undercover. And the AI in this mission is real wonky. By the builder, from whence came thee? Ah! 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 
because there are certain areas with red hammers on them that you're not supposed to be in, and if they see you in those, they'll freak out and sound the alarm. If you steal something and they see it, they hit the alarm. Sometimes if you're conspicuously running, they'll hit the alarm. The first hammer is easy to find. It's in the reliquary, and the talisman is in the south end of the building, but it's in a locked cage, which is opened with a switch inside of another locked cage, which is opened with a bunch of other switches that are hidden around the map, and all have to be pressed within five minutes of each other, and also you need to steal a special hammer to lay on this tile here to extend a bridge, but you can just jump that. And you have to say the prayer of the wall builder before taking the talisman, and make sure that the moon is properly aligned in the skybox before you do that. That last part about the moon is bullshit, but did it even register as that with all the other bullshit you have to do? Now, obviously, we can't go around attacking all of these guards. We have to pick them off one at a time. I clear out the lower floor of the main building because the ones upstairs won't notice, and we need to move around this place a lot and quick. I actually respect this level for how much it makes me plan. Get this, one of the switches is in the kitchen, but it's not the kitchen up here, it's the old one they've turned into the treasury, which is fine, I have to go there too. This mission is kind enough to give you a detailed map, and I'm about to use a feature that I've never talked about because I've never really needed it, or the map was so goddamn useless that it didn't matter. You can write your own notes on the maps, so I do. Get all of your objectives done before going for the talisman, because as soon as you take it, the whole place is gonna light up like you just stole the magical artifact that's the only thing preventing the world from being thrown into chaos. Oh god, I forgot the first hammer. We went four whole missions without zombies. Back to it, I guess. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Tour the level and see some of the things that cropped up as bugs during production of Thief, and some other that existed only in our rather twisted imaginations. When you've seen all you care to, press the button in the main entrance. Yeah, cool, a super secret level you can only get to by editing an INI &I file. And if they left this out of the game and still kept the Thieves Guild in, I'm in for a trip. The bears have got these new muzzles with under some cheek spikes. You can't dodge an arrow! Hmm, don't press this button. Shh. 
shit. That's not Benny. So we got mini guards, fart, and burracks. These two servants here who just open hand bitch slap me. Help. Over here! Help. He has a Don't sword! Don't let him me! <clears throat> ah! oh! And the dancing undead. I should check in on Benny. Since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. Okay, I'll give it to him. This is pretty weird. Oh dear God, they did it. They gave the bug boobs, but they're still not the pinnacle of monster titties. Okay, no, no more of this. You guys remember how we got all those talismans in the last episode so we could get into this cathedral and steal the eye for Constantine, an insane rich person and a possibly literal plant lover? I mean tree hugger? I mean tree fucker. So, you are returned with the talismans, you clever man. I did not think it likely. There isn't an open window back here like last time, so against all of my thief instincts, I have to use the front door. Let's just have a look inside the- nope! That's full of zombies and hammer haunts, which are special zombies that we saw last time we were around here. They're better with a sword than living people. I wonder why they don't carry hammers, not that it really matters. Creepiest thief enemies, and the ones I'm least interested in messing with. And that's not counting the super zombies that exist in some places in this level. I don't, uh... I don't know why they did those. Not too hard to get what I came for. I have to take a trip down to the basement to turn the machinery on so that this elevator works and I can cross these catwalks to grab the eye. Oh yeah, and kill a ghost with Constantine's sword, which is cool, I guess. And rob the place, especially the wine cellar. Trust me, you want to go to the wine cellar now and mark that shit down. We're gonna find out together, Cursed Rock. It's only taken me 20 minutes to get here, so I'm liking my chances, but just in case. Leaving so soon. I think that would be too easy. These doors I sealed once again. You have to find another way. Now, how am I going to get out of here? I realize the devs probably didn't have the budget to fly out here and kick me in the nuts. But they could have taken a bus. Oh yes, we're not even at the halfway point of this mission. Oh no. No, 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 no. There's still more ghosts and zombies to redundantly kill. Welcome to the majestic and splendid Hammer Cathedral. How pleasing to welcome new initiates into our fold. Oh no, that was the last mission. I'm not doing that anymore. I am Brother Muris, and I will be thy spiritual guide. I see that thou art tired from your journey, so I'll leave thee be. But if thou needst my help, I can be found down in the cloister. Fine, I'm gonna get my corporeal ass out of here. Aha, our newest acolyte. Thou seems to have gotten thyself into some trouble, hmm? Yeah, well, you're dead. And from the looks of thee, I'd say thou art used to trouble. Well, I can help thee escape this desolate place, if thou wilt help me with something. Okay, ghost permanently stuck here, show me how to get out. Be a good lad and bring me my rosary. Fine. Wonderful looter thou art. Thou hast found my rosary. 
I have some other things for thee to do as well. What? What could you possibly need? You're fucking dead! I needs for thou to get a holy symbol. This place is not as holy as it once was, I'm afraid, so thou might have a hard time finding one. So the other 75% of this level takes place outside the cathedral, in these surrounding buildings which are arguably more haunted. First thing I have to do is go to St. Tenor's to forge a new holy symbol. Hammer haunts patrol everywhere around here. But there's some passages underground that can take you between buildings on the slowest elevators ever. There's still one hammer haunt down here, and I want the holy water in that chest for later. Yeah, I really, really want that. But I'm having some mantling issues. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Getting into St. Tenor's to make the holy symbol, you run into loud metal floors and a system of molds that you have to pour molten metal into. You can forge a key to the wine cellar too, but I already picked that lock earlier. Place the mold, close the mold, pour the metal, open the mold, take the thing, don't get murdered. Now, after I've made the holy symbol, it needs to be blessed with science! There's a tower in St. Channels with all this astronomical nonsense that will bless the symbol, so actually this mission does require lunar positioning. Also in St. Channels, in this far off room with the zombie, is the cemetery key, another thing you're gonna want to pick up, because Brother Muris is a needy bastard. Confound it, I seem to have misplaced my prayer book. Novice, please go get it for me. It's called the Prayer of Consecration. I don't have any idea where I was last reading it. Oh, I bet it's in the library. Let me go fetch it for you. How do you take your coffee? Is your name spelled with one S or two? Why can't I kill you with my magic sword? Who would have thought back then that an unsavory character such as thyself could be my salvation? You are so lucky you're already dead. I need to find a candle I used when I was still alive. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, and you left it on top of the shed. Great, here we are. Got you a candle. I'm sure there wasn't a more easily accessible candle than this, except maybe for the ones I've already stolen! Look, the haunts are onto me, okay? I can't stay hidden when I have to sneak through the same buildings a bunch of times to collect everything you ever owned so you can move on to Hammer Heaven, which is probably the most boring heaven where you just make birdhouses and cut people's hands off. Okay, I got your candle and your money. I see that thou hast all of the items we need to perform the ritual of consecration. We're doing what now? Meet me at my grave in the cemetery. Oh, Master Builder. He asked thee to bless our brother who hath died in thy service. Forgive him the transgression of his living day, and give him favor of his works in thy name. My name for all the world and give my spirit of God. At last, my prayers have been answered. My soul is finally free. Acolyte, thou hast saved me from eternal unrest. But I need thee to help my friends from life as well. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Good thing I played this game before and marked those on the map. Back into the cathedral to drag these two guys to the cemetery. I do not know who thou art, but by thy hand I can finally depart this earth and go to the building home. It is only fitting that I reward you. In the winter tunnel, Sorry, I can't hear you over all the moans of the undead. I hope you're not telling me about a secret room underground. 
thanks for spawning this extra hammer haunt in this alleyway for when I leave. That was real cool of you. I haven't been playing this mission long enough. Now I must ask thee for one last thing. What? These haunts what? who inhabit the bodies of my brethren, they must all be killed. So I'm wondering if instead of being awesome and killing every single one of these haunts, I died. Would my ghost be stuck here with this asshole? Would he be busting my balls about that time I didn't exercise an entire haunted cathedral and help him bury his friends who were probably douchebags because they're hammerites? We'll never know. Although having to end a mission by killing things is a weird place for this stealth game to go. And so this dude gives me a key to the armory which has an explosive device in it that'll blast open some doors that will expose the city to a zombie attack. Like I care, I'm getting paid. Cough it up, Constantine. I can't tell you how pleased I am with you, Mr. Garrett. I simply can't find the words. Yes, we are both so very pleased. Victoria? Even though the eye is defective. What? Victoria is quite right, Mr. Garrett. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this eye is completely blind. It's a rock. It's what you asked for. Am I gonna get paid or not? Of course. Victoria, are you prepared to give Mr. Garrett his compensation? Okay, well, maybe I fucked up a little and helped an ancient trickster god with his plan to take over the world and kill everyone. These things happen. Bow to the woodsy lord and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. I'm having serious doubts about this Victoria chick. Bids he then the spruces to sing her him an anthem. And the woodly lord binders then fleshes to stone. Did you think those ancient phrases were mere words, man fool? Look at me! I am the woodsy lord, the trickster of legend. Nine lilacs and nine thistlebades must feed and I Stands he then in the greens and festive maw and speeds he of his judgments upon the weeps and writhing manfolds. Still, amazing cutscene. 10 out of 10. Unfortunately, it's all downhill from here. Return to the Cathedral was the game's climax, and after that... Well... You get rescued by the Keepers, who I swear are just pretending this was the plan all along. Since you left us, you have been a stone rolling downhill. Now you must aim this remarkable momentum. It is past time for the balance to shift. Yeah, rescue. Where the Keepers fuck off and leave you here anyway. And missing an eye! Nah, I'm not gonna do that to you guys, that would be cruel. But I'm still mad, I knew this was coming, and I knew the last few levels of Thief are not really what I would call good, but I'm still gonna do what I can to preserve the experience. I'm gonna ghost this level, and by ghost this level, I mean I'm gonna turn everything in this level into a fucking ghost. <laughs> That's right, we're back in Constantine's Manor, behind that locked door we couldn't get into last time, which hides all these rat monsters, killer bugs, spiders, exploding frog beasts, and tree houses. We have to find out about Constantine's plan by reading notes. The night, once the font of the unknown, becomes only the lack of the sun. I have conceived of a plan to revive the darkness, to bring a resurrection of the ability to fear and dream. Once my dark project is realized... He calls it a dark project. Get it? A dark project? I feel my talents are being wasted reading story text in games. I've gotten offers from other YouTube channels. 
Ones that respect me and my work. It's not that I don't respect you. I mean, I don't respect you, but that's not... Whatever, do what you want, I don't care. And then escape the same way we did last time. Except now everything dies. Except the creatures I use gas arrows on, I suppose they don't. Oh well. This was not the way things were supposed to go. Constantine has the eye, and my eye, and I doubt he has anything wholesome planned for it. The trickster is real after all. I don't think anyone but those crazy hammers really believed in the old gods. If I drop by their temple and explain things, maybe they'll be so distracted by the trickster's return that they'll forget to hold a grudge. Ah yes, the Hammerites, known for not holding grudges and being charitable to criminals. I have a bad feeling about this. Yup, everyone's dead. And where are all the Hammerites? There's not gonna be a lot of sneaking for the rest of this game. See these rat guys? I killed a bunch of them in the last mission, but only because they are hilariously weak. One overhead swing and a couple of slashes and they're down. Like, how did they come in here and kill everything? Are they immune to hammers? <laughs> The giant insects, they're another story. And if you don't sneak by them in this mission, in fact, if you damage them at all, the game gives you an objective to kill every single one on the level. You can't hear it over its screams of agony, but Garrett says, I've had enough of these things. <laughs> and vows to destroy them. But only if you damage one. Cool, great, you think that's a punishment? Wow, looking glass, don't threaten me with a good time. I want them dead, I hate them. Their swarm attack is bullshit. Here's the real problem though. In this mission, I gas a couple of them so they don't die, but to complete the mission, they have to die. So I have to go back through the level, find the ones I knocked out, and then stab their bodies until they stop bleeding. <laughs> Maybe if they wanted me to stealth through this section, they would have made it not suck. The game throws magic spiders at you now too, which are like the other ones, but they're red, have more health, and fire little magic projectiles at you. The remaining hammerites are underground hiding in some kind of safe room, but the monsters kidnap their high priest. The trickster's foul beasts have captured our high priest, and if we cannot retake him alive, all shall be lost. Also, our enemies hold the builder's chisel, the builder's which seven. thou must the recover. What, this thing I found upstairs? Are you guys just giving me busy work because I'm on expert? If you think I'm gonna go back to my fence and get that first hammer back, forget it, it's gone. Getting the high priest back involves taking out the rat men holding him hostage. And if you screw it up, they'll walk over and kill him. They will walk over to his unconscious body and execute him. I don't understand why they don't just kill him. I don't care, this entire mission should have been a cutscene where Garrett goes to the hammerites and says, hey, I kinda sorta helped the trickster get a mystical artifact that he's gonna use to invade our dimension, exterminate humanity, and turn the world into some kind of wooded paradise for bug monsters. I mean, I get it, I hate this city, it sucks, but I guess this is an extinction level event we gotta deal with. And then they balk me with a hammer and throw me into Crags Cleft. I know how to get out of Crags Cleft prison already. The point is that these last two missions have been a protracted, playable excuse to get to the last mission. The Hammerites make you a fake eye to put in place of the real one, which will screw up Constantine's ritual. That's all well and good, but on Expert, you also have to shut down the portal, and this mission is mostly devoid of stealth, too. You're practically running in a straight line, or swimming, or doing platforming. Now, let's not try that again. until you hit that portal device thing. Let's just disable that portal and give the hammers a fighting chance. I guess no one is as good at fighting monsters as me. God, this sucks. I'm so glad Thief 2 happened or else this series reputation would have never recovered. You have to shoot a moss arrow at this white cloud, 
then a water arrow at this red cloud, then a gas arrow at this green cloud, and then a fire arrow at the blue one, and it's dumb, and busy work, and lame, and within a minute you're where Constantine is, and thank god he doesn't notice these rope arrows hanging from the ceiling, because if he did, this whole plane would never work. You climb up here, you drop down here while he's off saying magic words, swap the eye, wait for him to try and complete the ritual, which I assume kills him? Brings it forth, world of new. I still fail once because of the jumping. It happens. Ah, oh, come chasing your death carriage. Better for you, stay. Just to be safe, I put two rope arrows up there and wait. Night smother light, black brick lamp done with bright. Do and damn smother tight, dark and high, fools in sight. Stay inside, fear the night, call the dark, call the black. Brings it forth, I call it back. You know, he really doesn't sound as threatening when he's talking about all the woodsy shit. I mean, it could have been worse. They could have given him the fucking droopy dog Truman Capote voice. But he will know the builder's love. The builder's love. Open the grove! Open for me! Open! The end of this game is a fucking mess from a storytelling perspective. You build up to the double cross, and then it happens, and you spend the next few levels in what feels like a completely different game. Escape is so loathed that in the walkthrough on one of the big fan sites for Thief, it outright tells you how to get through that level as quickly as possible because of how much people hate it. Because it's not fun as a stealth mission, and I feel kind of bad playing it like it's a janky hack and slash. At least we still have one of those beautiful cutscenes left. Constantine is dead, Garrett has a new eye, which is gonna be real fun to use later, and everyone lives happily ever after. friends than you know. Tell my friends that I don't need their secret book, or their glyph warnings, or their messengers. Tell them I'm through. Tell them it's over. Tell them Garrett is done. I will tell them this. Nothing has changed. All is as it was written. The trickster is dead. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age.